The career that I researched was uh, family support services. The specific job example that I found in this area was a support service for veterans family outreach coordinator for the Community Action of Northeast Indiana. It's a nonprofit organization that serves many counties in Northeast Indiana. Uh, it basically focuses on helping communities, families, and individuals remove causes and conditions of poverty. Uh, and then they have several mini programs that help them do this. They have a website, it's www.canihelp.org. And they have their job openings listed on this website and also the applications are on the website and I believe you can apply online as well. Um, so some of the job duties for the support service for veterans family outreach coordinator are ensuring that the program meets annual enrollment and participation goals, uh, build and maintain relationships with veterans and veteran serving organizations and associations, uh, work closely with the family development manager, the homelessness prevention coordinator, family development workers, and development department uh, in developing, implementing, tracking, and evaluating outreach activities. The hours for the job are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Fridays, 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. And it says occasional weekends and evenings uh, with minimal supervision and the employee needs to be somewhat flexible, it says. It also covers a large area, so I'm assuming that there would be uh, some travel involved. I wasn't able to contact anyone about this position, but they do have a number and an extension on the website. Uh, on the job posting that you can call if you want to talk to someone about it but they weren't open on Friday when I tried calling so I wasn't able to ask anyone about the exact stressors but from the skills listed for the job you can kind of get an idea of what they would be some of the skills that they have are ability to work with minimal supervision self-motivated, attentive to detail, organized, productive, and dependable. Uh, ability to quickly develop a thorough understanding of basic community action concepts. So if you're not already familiar with that, it's some more on-the-job training, which could be kind of stressful. Ability to relate well with diverse personalities from a variety of socioeconomic backgrounds. So for someone who doesn't have any experience, I could see that being a little stressful, not having dealt with a lot of things before. Also, uh, you might have different people speaking different languages. So if you're not bilingual or multilingual, that could be a little stressful as well. Uh, and then high comfort level with public interaction. So if you're not comfortable with that, then that could be a little stressful too. The salary range is 25,000 starting salary and experienced is starting at 31,000 and then up depending on your experience. Uh, so it sounds like some a little bit of flexibility if you have experience. And then the education is a bachelor's degree in the area of social services, public administration or related field and that's preferred and then it says or an associate's degree in similar field with one to two years of experience so it sounds like if you have a bachelor's degree they don't require you to have any experience which uh, is rare from what I've been able to research I haven't seen very many that don't require some experience uh, so it sounds like a great opportunity uh, an interesting experience and a great job possibility.